Sweetie, are you feeling okay? Are you sure you're not acting like yourself? Usually we'll be making preparations for movie night by now. Feeling your forehead, you're not sick. What's got you so down? It's not nothing. You're looking at me like something bad happened. You've been quiet all afternoon, sitting on the bed, looking outside. Can you please tell me? Oh, come here. There's no need to cry, sweetie. Whatever it is, we'll get through it, I promise. Of course we will. I'm not going to let you cry on your own. We're a couple, a team, always. What? What are you talking about? Of course you deserve me. Why wouldn't you? Who told you that? No, no, sweetie. Look at me. Please, look at me. Who told you that you're not good enough for me? Them, huh? I know it's not always easy to ignore what others say, but don't take what they say to heart. I don't want them to get their grubby hands on your precious heart, you hear me? They have no idea what they're talking about. They're not a part of this relationship. I don't care if you're immortal. I never cared. I only ever cared about you. You were the one who originally approached me without the slightest care that I'm a goddess. So, why should I care about what you are? You've treated me with nothing but kindness and respect, and, importantly, you didn't treat me any differently because of my powers. I mean, you do treat me like a goddess, but not because I am one, but because you love me. Oh, sweetie, I don't care about that either. I love the quiet life we have here. I don't want some godly castle or a daily adventure for my life. All I want is us in here, doing what we want to do. And besides, I'm not really doing any goddess-related things anyway, am I? I rarely use my strength and powers for anything. The only time I really use it is when I carry you on my shoulders on our afternoon walks. But I'm sure a gym-going mortal could do that too. And I'm not perfect either. I can still make mistakes. There are so many things I don't know about this world and its people. That's why we started movie night in the first place so you could introduce me to your favorite movies and show me new things. You have taught me so much, more than I have, probably. And you have heart, such an indescribable heart. I would give up my powers for you any day. I mean it, sweetie. You are a treasure 
and I intend to cherish you every day. I love you, sweetie. I love you so much. You showed this goddess what love is really like. Don't let anyone take that away from you, okay? No, don't apologize. The only one that should apologize is the one that said such nasty words to you. But please, sweetie, next time you feel like this, please tell me about it, okay? I don't want your heart bruising over something that isn't true. It's fine, sweetie. You did nothing wrong. I know you didn't mean to worry me. But as your girlfriend, I'm always going to worry about you, just as you do for me. Are you feeling better now? I'm glad. Are you sure? We can stay like this for a while if you want. You don't have to push yourself for my sake. If you're up for it, then so am I. I'll let you choose. You know all of the movies. What genre? Hmm. I suppose I'm in the mood for some romance. <laughs> I know, who would have thought that? 